start from the let's start from the top, and I regret <laughs> the last latest. Look at the latest question I got. Let's, oh my! <laughs> of course, this is should the first I question the, I get. Should I be in the middle? Yeah. Oh, you should be in the middle. Oh, you want me, me to be yeah. the creamy center? I do want you to be the. All right. Oh, Oswald's always the creamy center. Oh my God. Hey. <laughs> Oswald just butt slapped me. Oh. Don't give those shippers any ideas. <laughs> All right. Have you seen Justine in the nude? <gasps> that is a horrible question. I, of course, I have not. I'm a respectable gentleman. Not that you she's aware of. But it's not always out of the question. We sh no, that's what? not appropriate. <laughs> have you have you have it, have you? I don't like that silence. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you three. K F M between all of you and Malo de Vigny. What does that mean? Uh kill fuck Mary. What? Between all of you and all of us and Mallow, but that's a three and he's a fourth. How do you even do that? Wait a minute. So if you were doing the oh. kill fuck Mary, it would be me, Oswald, and Mallow. Oh, that's right. That's this is so messed up. <laughs> and if it were you, it would be me, Daniel, and Mallow. I don't want to do this. Yes, you do. Oh, I have to. You do have to. <sighs> <laughs> you are atrocious people. You. <sighs> I guess it's. I guess I suppose it's obvious. Is it obvious? Is it obvious? Is it really Is obvious, it Monsieur? Really? Kill Monsieur de Vigny. Marry Mademoiselle Justine. Oh, I'm flattered. And oh, the, and? that that word that I refuse to say Fuck. with with. <laughs> With Mr. Well Bendis. <laughs> I see how it is. I learn things about you every day, <laughs> I only did it because I had to. You forced me into the question. Now you. <laughs> me. Yes. I don't so between us. Well, you do now. He's one of her other suitors. He's very well. Obnoxious. I do think I could take you. So I. As an oh my! Oh. oh. In what I'm way? I'm with words. Uh, In uh, what way? Him, obviously. Oh. And of uh, course. Of course. Of course. Of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> you would marry Monsieur de Vigny? You would marry de Vigny. Yes. I guess for his if money. If the laws of nature allowed it. <laughs> if the laws of nature and society allowed it. And society. It. So you would marry Mallard de Vigny. Well, kill him. After. It's not a permanent contract, these <laughs> things. Mr. Mendes, you're starting to scare me. Oswald, where are your children? Where are your children? Where are your children? Dead. And he has left the conversation. And he has left. And he's done. He's done. Come back. Come on now. We didn't mean it. You didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Like Sorry. Have, feelings. have you ever come across a young lady named Vanessa Ives? I have a, not. A name sounds peculiarly familiar. Cannot say I have. Dark hair, perhaps? Yes. Dark curly hair? <laughs> I remember Is that relation of yours, by chance? Maybe. Do you know her? Sounds familiar. I may have this number. I may have heard her name in passing, but I don't know her personally. We may be related. Really? Daniel, was your former relationship with Alexander, and I mean this in the most platonic and professional way, more like Hawker's relationship with Dracula or Renfield's relationship with Dracula? Also, I have to explain this for you. I don't understand this. <laughs> Help me. Well. <laughs> I'm, I'm really worried right now. Dracula, 
he's a very popular fiction character at the moment. You know, mm. you know tall, attractive, probably up your alley. I don't know what impression you have gotten from the bowels of the internet, but Alexander is not an attractive man. <laughs> Sorry to say that about you, Greeno, but it's true. <laughs> I don't know what my uncle ever saw in this man. But I'll leave it at that. <laughs> what? We work together. Exactly. Why would he bring some pompous little... I wasn't pompous. Through the front door. I've seen the letters. So what? They were all over the castle. So? <laughs> I was writing in my diary. I was just explaining what was all happening. Over. Oh, Alexander. I wasn't going, oh, Alexander. I was just saying, I'm very impressed with this man's work. And then all of a sudden, people are construing it to be something More. disturbing. <laughs> I mean, I was very interested in what he was doing, and I admit yes, I was fascinated. I'm very fascinated with his work. But I to answer the question, perhaps, perhaps there is some correspondence between the, the two, Dracula working alongside. Um, what was his name again? Hogger or Renfield with Dracula? I don't know those it's names. It's been some time since I've been up on my pop culture. It happens when you're asleep for a great length of time. I I've also it. been traveling. Yes, I've been right down with something in Mexico. <laughs> Seen that happen to us all? Of no. <laughs> uh, hi, Daniel. Glad to see you and Mal haven't been fighting all that much recently. In fact, I don't think Mal has been talking to anyone lately, much less Daniel. Justine, you know him better than the other two men in this room. Is he okay? Well, he does have a very busy schedule. Um, I, I thought I heard about this in the news. Wasn't there just some like giant collapse on a stage? Didn't he have to get pulled away by oh. his friends? Oh, it was all over the papers. Oh, he had a very difficult evening. A very... Very difficult evening. It's such a shame. It's such a shame. As far as I know, he is preferring to stay out of the public eye. I'm sure it'll be some time before he returns. But I'm glad to see a concern for him. He is well. Hmm. Last question I have. Are you a man of faith, Daniel? Do you believe in God? I do. I don't know about the rest of you, but I do. a short little question list, but thank you all for sending them in, and perhaps in the future we might do more. That would be fantastic. That would be wonderful. Thank you all, and have a wonderful day. Very good.